bit of tish here. Just wanted to give you a trigger warning here and I should have it on all of my awakened videos because they always talk about weight loss. So FYI, there's a bit of weight loss, a lot of weight loss talk, a lot of body image, body dysmorphia talk, etc, etc. Can you see it's getting a little bit Christmassy there? All right, enjoy. Hi, fancy meeting you here in this little old place. I'm Tish and this is Echo Echo. I'm dyeing my hair. Hence, hence the the scarf and I'm wearing a singlet showing some shoulder. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I don't know what sort of what this is. This is Awakened. Uh, awakened. Okay. Finally opened to customers today. And apparently they were getting an order every four seconds. Hey, let me have a look. Every four seconds. Oh, fuck. Where is it? And so the server is like broken or some shit. I don't know. The server, it's overloaded. But I don't know if that means that... Uh, they can't get it now available for customers and I still you know like uh yeah and they've got an order coming in every eight sec every four seconds so uh this is from the 9th of November so it is now the 18th so it's a little bit old but you know I want to get something out about them they're gross now the other thing that uh has come out and thanks to Charlene for putting me onto this. Uh, she, there's a an article that she sent me a screen grab of. Awaken ships at Zenith with different ingredients. <laughs> so the thing that they have sent out uh, is different to what's actually on the bottle. It does say that there's a proprietary blend. A zenith complex yeah I, except it doesn't say zenith complex anymore i mean and then the other thing too uh that they are trying to sell the zenith still contains zenith complex but it is just a hydro hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and celadron and guess what that is available for a much cheaper in other brands and uh, the Trisonex formulated product. So that's what Awakened was saying. This is we. This is the product that we were using. It's the same as this one back then. They're not the same. <laughs> so the Trisonex is marketed and sold by First Fruits Business Ministries. Oh my god! Uh, and yeah, the Trim Fit. Is 900 milligrams of hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose, a polysaccharide cellulistic blend. Oh my god, I'm sorry. In other words, Awakened are diluting their Trisonex formula formulation with celadrin, which wasn't disclosed to distributors prior to purchase. Oh, yes. Because it just said, it just said, I, I was. I wasn't understanding before. Now I understand. It just says the viscous polysaccharides and cellulated fatty acids, the zenith complex. They didn't say anything about, hang on, cellulated fatty acids? Well, that's celadrin. Okay, that's the same thing. Hydroproxy, remember? Well, the hydroproxy methyl cellulose, they haven't got on there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, they but they are adding something to it, which makes it different. So, does that mean that the studies don't fit? Mm. And Zenith, like it's still it's still in court. The okay, um, mm. and the original one, the original trim fit label is on the behind mlm article as well 
it has just it just has the hydro hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose but no celadrin yeah so there you go let's watch this bullshit uh still people are just you know like no one's talking about that that's what i've seen in the in the what's it called um in the facebook groups they're still just basically oh danielle you're the best and even in that the i am shocked the cognitive cognitive dissonance is just so quick you know like it's just everybody's already under the spell you know uh yeah all right i'm gonna make it faster but this is a mindset and skill set with danielle and it's something to do with ah shit i can't remember <laughs> it's not social selling like a fucking ninja okay or aka tips for boomers all right let's do it all right guys so good to be back Oh, she's done her face for this. She doesn't appear on on the screen if she is not done up like this. Oh, it was a wild whatever I had. Someone said RSV. Who knows what it was, but it wasn't pretty. It definitely wasn't COVID. Thank the Lord. Uh, but my husband held it down around the house. So I gave him a lot of credit. He uh, took good care of me and forced all the colloidal silver down my throat that I can handle and all kinds of good um uh, supplements to build me back up so i'm right. doing my best and i know that this time of year kids come home with everything so uh but thank you everyone who prayed because it was a rough few days there where i was like i cannot eat you you don't have young children how they're not bringing germs home then look at a phone my head was it hurt so you don't get that sinus junk it was so painful yeah anyway, tell us more about um, that so a couple things super excited for everything that's going on this is a very big week for us i consider this the crowning uh, stage of the birth that we're giving birth to this baby called the and you know, we have a lot going on, but this isn't an update <laughs> call. This is really a training just to get you back into how to peak interest correctly. So we've done a lot on social media and a lot of you have listened to the ninja training and you know, all how to peak interest. That's the goal of social media, like a ninja, isn't it about it? However, uh, it's important that you understand. If this is more of the same shit, I'm going to be really angry. Val, I know you're with me on this one. Understand the whole crux of network marketing or direct selling or social selling or virtual retailing, whatever you want to call it, being a digital creator, all of that can be interchanged, all those names, titles. But the bottom line is, is you're not a digital creator. This isn't creative. And neither is your fucking. I'm sorry. I was eating a lolly. You're not a digital creator. Fucking doing a reel about your shitty fucking diet pill is not creation. You, it, it's not. As an artist in many different fucking... Like, at the moment, I have this in front of me. I am, like, making a variety of doily-type things. That's my own art that I'm doing on it with some pre-fucking filled-in art. I'm a creator. This is creation. This fucking video is creation. Man, I'm too angry. It's only 1 minute 34. <laughs> I'm too angry. I'm sorry. She does something to me, this woman. Uh, you are network marketers who do fucking reels to sell your business. That's it. You're not creative. If you're in our company or you're in another company, it doesn't matter to me. I want you to do well at being able to peak interest. So there's a saying in the industry and it's the person who masters, and this is why I ended up doing this, by the way, I heard this about 10 years ago and some 12, 12 years of in the industry, 10 years ago, I heard this. So I was a newbie and I heard someone who was a millionaire say the person or the people who master inviting or peaking interest, same thing, you know, how to invite to, uh, you know, a, um, an overview, an awakened overview, you invite to an event or you peak interest with a post or you send a text message. It doesn't matter how you're doing it. What matters is that you do it well. And if you, the people who peak interest the best and master that, are the ones who end up doing very big things financially in the industry. So when I heard that, my analytical mind says, so if I get really good at that, it really doesn't matter about anything else right now. I just have to focus on step one. It's a three-step system in, in this industry. It is peak interest, which we're going to talk about tonight. And you can do it on social media. That's what I swatch, uh, swapped over to, kind of switched over to. 
quite a few years ago because I realized all these people were making this big money and they weren't leaving their house. And I was home party girl and I was exhausted. Like who wants to schlep around? Thank God I had switched over before COVID to not being a home party girl. I knew companies that only did home parties that almost collapsed during COVID and some did because their way of peaking interest wasn't through the internet and it wasn't through social selling. It was through face-to-face, right? Belly to belly. I've got some very old videos of hers. She's been on online for a while. Uh, She just kind of, she'll use anything that's going to improve her business. It, she's pretty un, unrelenting in that way, you know? That way of doing it, as great as that can be, is not duplicatable. Meaning you're not going to have an organization that everybody leaves their house after their real job and is building their side gig, right? And network marketing, they don't want to go out and, and build it when they could be home with their, their children, their spouse, their significant, significant other. It's a lot of work. It's not duplicatable. You won't see your organization grow at the, at the rate you'd like if you build it belly to belly. So <laughs> the three steps are peaking interest. I want you guys so focused on peaking interest well that all you're doing is sending out step two links. Step two links is just our three minute video. Now, some of you have teams where you have a different video. I don't care what video you use. If it's working for you and people are responding to it and you're getting yeses. You should care what video they use because you want to make sure they're compliant, right? It's a good video to use. Your step two can be a video that Tina Raines made or Emily Jackson and Mike made or the company made or Diane uh, made. I don't want to say her name, last name wrong, but it starts with an M. Diane made some good ones. We have lots of great peaking of interest, very compliant videos that do the selling for you. Your job is not to sell. Let me be very clear. You are not selling Zenith. You are sharing the story of Zenith and what it does for people or, or and or does for you if you use it or, or you're going to use it. And when people are looking for the same type of result because they have the same type of issue that Zenith can help with, they're going to buy regardless. Your job is not to sell. Your job is to look for people, find their hot button, share with them that the product you have potentially could help with that problem. And then the sale happens just because everything happens on emotion. Do we all know this? I want to teach you this to like <clears throat> drill it in your heads. Every single sale that happens daily, whether it's a house, a car, the person you say yes to to marry, everything is everything psychologically happens on emotion. That's why we have commercials. That's why we have advertisements, right? They hit a spot. She wishes. Um, like I said, my example was toothpaste because she's already said this. She's already said this somewhere else. So, like, toothpaste, that is not an emotional decision, okay? Toilet paper, not an emotional decision because I need it, okay? Uh, hmm. Probably, you know, personal sanitary napkins you know pads and tampons and things like that not an emotional decision just something that i need water well i don't buy water mm. Mm. there's more but that's just dumb they hit what you are really wanting to get relief from or they're hitting on some hot button for you issue or multiple right you could be a boatload of mess. And so you hear this, you know, big pharma, hey, it'll take care of my uh, my diabetes and my arthritis and this and this one pill. Next thing you know, you're calling up your doctor. I need to get on this stuff. I need this problem solved. It's the same thing, right? You buy a car, you buy it on emotion. You buy a house on emotion. You buy lipstick on emotion. <clears throat> you buy the frames you liked on your face because they look the best and they made you feel good. Everything happens on emotion, but the stats are as follows. 82 to 83% of all sales that happen globally daily, 82 or 83%, somewhere in there, happen after eight to 10 times, they've heard it, seen it, learned about it, read about it, <clears throat> heard a person they know talk about it, saw a post about it. They're not buying on number one. You know the people that do? Me. I'm a high red. Does anyone know what a high red is? <laughs> you want as many reds in your organization as humanly possible because a red, and I'm going to start teaching you personality next week, four types of personalities. Quite a few people have all four. I don't. <laughs> I have so little of blue and white. I am mostly dominant red with, with very, very strong green. And I'll give you a really quick that tracks understanding of that reds have good and bad all four personality types have good and bad pros and cons i'm a high red which means you you tell me that i might be missing out on something that could solve my problem i'm the girl who wants to solve it yesterday i don't wait i am like richard branson but in a female body i jump off the cliff and figure it out on the way down i'm not looking for 72 pieces of info once i know it's something potentially that can ease the pain solve my problem or get me to where i need to get going i'm in it doesn't I'm really glad that you're not on meth then. You can you. You know, that does help people lose weight. And you hate your body. So I'm I'm surprised. <laughs> I mean, I don't do due, due diligence, but the reds typically, not only are the highest earners, 
they're also the highest number of entrepreneurs. So if you look at the four personalities, entrepreneurs, very many of the entrepreneurs out in the world that are doing something, making good money are red. Does that mean you can be a white and make money? Sure. I'm just giving you stats. So across the board, you're looking for a red. In the words of Aaron Bays. Cite your sources, Danielle. That's not the whole story, Danielle. You had three businesses, one went out of business. That's it, you kept the other two. You might have been in debt, but you had businesses. I'm going to make it happen. And somehow I knew I was going to make seven figures. And if you looked at me on paper, you would have said I was nuts. Doesn't matter. I knew it, therefore I was running towards it. Whatever you think you know right now about you is exactly what you're going to run towards. And that goes for negative stuff. Nobody knows me. I don't know enough people. Nobody has money. Everybody's broke. No one has time. I don't know people. Every single thing that you say to yourself about your business in any network marketing company or any startup you get involved in or any small business you go to launch, whatever you set out there, you will reap those words back. If you say you can, you can. And if you say you can't, you can't. However, step wanting it as much as humanly possible is what's going to get you enough people in your organization to take your business global. You don't need a lot of people to say yes to you. I'm going to be very clear on this. This is not, a, this is not about bringing in a ton of people. This is about finding... No, because you have a binary. So it's okay if you only bring in one people, one person, two people, as long as they bring in people. Because that's the nature of your business, right? Finding some reds. I'll tell you who are difficult, and I'm sorry, but they are. They're difficult to deal with for one reason. The high greens, what we call a high C. I'm also dominant green, but I'm more red. Those are the people that read the directions. Those are the people that write a 10-page dissertation to a company when they send, uh, let's say, they're the people that open the box and go, there's a part missing. And then they send a letter and they report it to the BBB and they need to read the instructions three times. I'm just giving you what a high C is. I have a lot of C in me. I have lists upon lists. I have lists for my lists. But I'm more dominant red, which means although I have lists and although I work on schedules and boy, oh boy, do I have lists for next year and the year after, I would schedule in going to the bathroom to my people laugh when I say that. If I could plan that all in, it would be the perfect life because I like to get things done. However, if I was dominant that, and I was not dominant red, I would be someone who would get caught up in needing multiple pieces of info to make my decision. Guess what? I know high C's in this company and companies I've been in that have become millionaires. So I'm not saying that you shouldn't bring in a high C, which is a green. What I'm saying is, is they typically need three, four, five, a three-way call. They need the science call. They need the slides. They need the comp plan. Good. Give it to them. Give them what they need based on what, who they are. Here's where people mess up poorly, very badly in this industry. You send a red 32 pieces of info because you needed it for your friend who's a green and you don't know that we're a red or a green. You just don't know anything at this point. You just send me, Danielle. Just say, would everyone like me in their organization? Of course, right? You want a Danielle. However, if you give me 32 pieces of information, you know what it does for me? I say, absolutely not. I won't touch it to the 10 foot pole. I don't want to be slowed down. I'm not going to sit and read 32 things. So what's important to know is... When... You, you really wouldn't before joining a business? When you're talking to a prospect or they've asked you, hey, I need information, do not send more than the one link. Here's how you get the most people to say yes. The most people to either become a customer or become a distributor, which is a member. You send the one link after they say to you, I'd like to know more, Tiffany. I'd like to know more. Lori, Tara, tell me more. What are you talking about, Tara? What's this magical bottle that's in your hand that I can't read the label? Good for you that you didn't tell me what it is. Now I'm in your inbox asking you because I got to know how that woman or that guy went from overweight and fluffy to looking hot. I need that too. Tara, tell me more. That's how you know you're a ninja. That's how you know you rock network marketing. For those of you posting the bottle name and posting the company name, you're, you're killing yourself. You're ruining your chance with people. No, they're not. They're just ruining your chance. Everybody not wants to know everything I've seen from idiots who were like, I am, uh, 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 this is my only choice of being skinny. You know, like I don't want to actually work hard for, like to get to lose weight. Uh, I want the easy route or whatever, you know? Like looking at and uh, I wonder if I can bring this up. I don't think I can, but there's a video, there's a photo that I saw on somebody who calls himself a doctor, uh, naturopath, I think. Uh, and it's got pictures of this woman, Patricia, who has been in there promos, and she, but it's got her when she was a very, very like would have been you know considered by the bmi which is bullshit and racist uh she would have been considered morbidly obese and now she's thin however she's only been on the zenith this year she had she didn't go from morbidly obese to thin 
on Xena. She did that before. She she actually lost quite a lot of weight before then. Uh, don't tell me. Like, people, if people are inclined to ask about that, first of all, don't use deceptive fucking advertising like that. But also, you don't want them to look up Awakened because... Uh, can I go incognito? Let's have a look here. Yep, new incognito, awakened. Um, hmm. Awakened weight loss. All right. Oh, I don't want. I don't. I don't want it to come up automatically. Be affected by my cookies. Oh, well, first of all, the first thing it does is that it, it tries to um, correct <laughs> because um, Awakened is spelled incorrectly. Uh, so on here, nothing. Nothing even on the first page of Google because it's spelled incorrectly. Okay. Oh, Awakened Weight Loss Zenith does come up as a suggested thing. All right, we'll see if it'll... I'm going to search instead for Awakened Weight Loss. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> the first thing that comes up is the Behind MLM. Uh, then Awakened oh, Facebook group, Forever Young with Mary. Next, Awakened Nation, how it can accelerate fat loss. Awakened, incredible weight loss, fat loss. Oh, hopefully that doesn't start playing. Let's not start playing. Yep. Uh, this is from the company, I think. Oh, no. Um, oh, Tina. Tina's the one who interviewed her. Uh, awakened, Nathan. this looks like it's an actual awakened person. Like, that they work for the actual company, not just. Mm. Oh. There's a couple of people who are. Okay, I need to. Um, I need to look into some of these ones because. Yeah, but the first thing that comes up is the behind MLM thing. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Very interesting. Um. All right. Lepton. Oh, there's a review of it. There's a clearly one winner of. <laughs> oh, Awaken Zenith agree. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's an anti MLM Reddit. Okay, let's keep going here. Well, because all they do is Google it and they'll find it somewhere on some obscure site and they'll buy it from someone who dumped it, which we'll police it as best we can, and you'll lose them. But if you do it the right way and you just show the. No, they won't. They won't. They won't. They won't. They'll find it. They'll find the same product cheaper because what you have isn't unique. Bill, when you say show the bottle with no label, or you show your pictures, and they go, "What in heaven is that?" I gotta know more. You're now peaking interest the way a seven-figure earner does. <clears throat> That's number one. Now, the more you do that, the better you get at sending a text, sending a private message, posting on Facebook. I don't care how you do it yet. We're gonna teach you that every week. I'm gonna teach you more. Just stay with me. I need you to get this theme tonight. Your only goal. You're gonna get off and say to your spouse, your friend, or your dog. Danielle said. Just get good at inviting. That's all I want you to do right now. Besides using the product the minute it gets to your door and having a testimonial, if you can't use it for some health reason, get your neighbor to use it. Get your best friend to use it and make sure they take pictures. But if you literally just, you get people to say, what is it? And you pique curiosity beautifully. You know what happens? I read somebody's uh, comment saying they wish they were overweight so that they could take the product. That's fucked up right there very disordered thinking you get so many people that you get to send the step two link to that just by default you sign people in i don't know if you guys have ever read the compound effect i think it's by darren hardy read it the compound effect is this <laughs> if all you did was bring two people in a week every week for the next year just you two a week eight a month could be a couple customers a couple reps could be one or the other i don't care do you think you could do two a week every week eight a month for the next year every one of you could with this system but let me tell you what happens people in your organization start doing the same and that's the compound effect and all of a sudden you're making check match on level three level four this person hit diamond this person hit sapphire this person hit black diamond and the next thing you know you are a true network marketing professional 
<laughs> My God. I did this with the chip earlier. Cut this out, Tish. Uh, Danielle, that's uh, exactly what the <laughs> what the problem is. It's unsustainable, you see. And yeah, there might be someone who does that, but not everyone. And guess what happens eventually? You run out of people. You fucking run out. All right, because. There's not enough people in the world to sustain this. You get to 13 levels. Okay, 13. That's not many. 13 levels. And you run out of people because some people are babies. And some people are old people. And some people have a brain in their head. Mm. Well, you know, no, I'm sorry. I'm going to take that back. Some people... Can are uh, not as trusting. <laughs> people who get roped into um, network marketing are usually nice people. They're polite. They don't say, "Oh, I'm not interested." They'll hear someone out because they're they're like, "Oh, I'll, I'll give them the courtesy of hearing them out," you know. And then they just pass it on and pass it on. <laughs> I heard some sipping over there. Still waiting for puppies. The compound effect comes from you doing little things every day, four or five, six days a week. I prefer the five day a week. So you have the weekend to have a life. I, I definitely did six days a week when I was dead broke and had no choice. But five days a week of peaking interest with seven or eight people a day or one post that gets seven or eight people to ask you for more info and it's game over. What most of you don't know is you're this far away from gold and you keep quitting or you keep stopping before you post because you second guess yourself. Am I wrong? Most of you second guess yourself. You don't know what to do. Oh, my uplines nowhere to be found. Oh, my sponsor this. Those are all called rackets. All of those are excuses that will keep you from literally being blessed of being in a company that is going, we're going into hyper growth. The fact that we can't keep up with staffing and we can, we got, we're fine with finances yet. We can't keep up with staffing and training and we got 6,000 orders a day going out. We still can't keep up. Why? Because you guys are doing a great job. But some of you are sitting here going, I'm watching all these people make money and break ranks. Why am I not? I'll tell you exactly why. Because either you're letting fear stop you and you're paralyzed you're overthinking it, you're overguessing it, or you're using rackets, which are excuses. Excuses are hands down what's going to stop you. Hands down. Hey, babe, can you text Chip? Tell him the new slides are not ready yet and um, to remind me uh, on Monday. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm going to be very clear about why step one is so important. It's a numbers game. Don't let anyone fool you. Some of you are going to sign in people that you have no idea are going to take this thing to the moon. They will. And you may never sign someone in that does that, but someone they sign in does, or someone three levels down does, or someone 17 levels down does. And you know what happens? All of a sudden your volumes go nuts. Don't you dare let this slide through your fingers. Showing up and getting trained is only one part of it. Don't you dare. Because it's her opportunity, not yours. Don't you dare. Are you okay? Are you okay? What happened? I don't know what happened. Sorry. I, I'm trying to console a pregnant dog. Actually taking what I teach you and doing it is a whole nother level. I did not start this company, literally give up my life and go through all of this and get as sick as I did because I haven't stopped literally 80, 90, 100 hour weeks for the, the corporate staff. I'm not complaining, just telling you. I did not do that for you to come in and fail in my company. It's our company. I came in and got out of the field and came into an owner's position and chief sales officer position because I absolutely saw that there was a need for the owner side to understand what you guys go through. That's why I'm going to continue to train you. That's why I'm going to Okay. I just have to replay that bit because I'm just a little bit shocked. Um, I just need to hear that bit again. Wow. What happened? What? Did it just die? Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. All right. Because I want to put it on Instagram because she's a monster. Okay. Uh, I am screen recording this. No, yeah, I am. Wow. This is her company. Don't fuck it up, guys. So. <clears throat> I'm going to be very clear about why step one is so important. 
It's a numbers game. Don't let anyone fool you. Some of you are going to sign in people that you have no idea are going to take this thing to the moon. They will. And you may never sign someone in that does that, but someone they sign in does, or someone three levels down does, or someone 17 levels down does. And you know what happens? All of a sudden your volumes go nuts. Don't you dare let this slide through your fingers. Showing up and getting trained is only one part of it. Actually taking what I teach you and doing it is a whole nother level. I did not start this company, literally give up my life and go through all of this and get as sick as I did because I haven't stopped literally 80, 90, 100 hour weeks for the, the corporate staff. I'm not complaining, just telling you, I did not do that for you to come in and fail in my company. It's our company. I came in and got out of the field and came into an owner's position and chief sales officer position because I absolutely saw that there was a need for the owner side to understand what you guys go through. That's why I'm going to continue to train you. That's why I'm going to continue to pour into you. I don't want you spending thousands with these other people. You got the money? You want to go spend it to go stay, spend, spend the day with Tony Robbins or Danny Johnson? Go for it. You don't need to. Can you? Should you at some point go invest in yourself? Sure. But it's not a prerequisite. You're not going to need to go broke to learn because I'm going to give you everything. She, she, she just um, compared, like, compared her training to Tony Robbins or Tiny Ribbons. So, um, <laughs> the fucking ego on this woman, honestly. Everything I've spent tens of thousands for in the last 12 years. I've been at every Danny Johnson possible. I've been at all those and I have notes and books and I'm giving you all. Showing up and getting trained is only one part of it. Actually taking what I teach you and doing it is a whole nother level. I did not start this company, literally give up my life and go through all of this and get as sick as I did because I haven't stopped literally 80, 90, 100 hour weeks for the, the corporate staff. I'm not complaining, just telling you, I did not do that for you to come in and fail in my company. It's our company. I came in and got out of the field and came into an owner's position and chief sales officer position because I absolutely saw that there was a need for the owner side to understand what you guys go through. That's why I'm going to continue to train you. That's why I'm going to continue to pour into you. I don't want you spending thousands with these other people. You got the money? You want to go spend it to go spend, spend, spend the day with Tony Robbins or Danny Johnson? Go for it. You don't need to. Can you send you at some point? Go invest in yourself? Sure. But it's not a pre -reason. Uh, I just forgot that I was filming a video, and I started watching Instagram Reels. It's no story. <laughs> oh my god! Broke to learn because I'm going to give you everything I've spent tens of thousands for in the last twelve years. I've been at every Danny Johnson possible. I've been at all those, and I I don't know Danny Johnson. Who's done? Have notes and books, and I'm giving you all the stuff that really matters. Okay. And people have said to me, like, Danielle, you could charge thousands for this. Why would I charge my field? You guys, if I <laughs> build you, you build the company, right? My job is to build you guys. I'm oh, sorry. I was laughing at Danielle. Sure. Sure. I'm, I'm putting all the trainings out there. Should I get thousands of dollars? No, I shouldn't. Because this is shit. It's my job is to make sure your customers are happy. And we don't have a lot of happy customers yet because the customer thing ain't open, but it's almost open. <laughs> and it's not open because we didn't want your customers upset because we knew we've already had an avalanche of sales. So next week, somewhere in next week, we're open up customers. And then my job as your chief sales officer is to make sure that every question they have, every issue they have, that even if they're upset with the company, that they turn around and go, that was fantastic customers. Okay. But your job and your only job right now outside of being your best coach and believing in yourself, which is absolutely a prerequisite. I'm going to come at you if you don't believe in yourself. And we're going to have a little nice talk together if you don't start believing in yourself. Number one is belief. Everything revolves around belief. But the second thing you need is to peak interest. That's an income producing activity. The mindset is also an income producing activity. You just don't know it yet, most of you. Your mindset. It's busy work. I'm sorry, people. The mindset that you get in a in an MLM, it, it teaches you to to ignore the red flags, and it teaches you to put people out of your life who you think are negative. Okay, you know, like it is to keep you in. That's it. That's what the mindset's for. That's what they mean by coachable. That's what they mean by, um, you know, um, like keen, willing, etc. An income producing activity in an MLM is selling your product and recruiting. That's it. When you actually sign up a recruit. That now is going to be what makes you do something tomorrow. 
And if your mindset is terrible, you won't take action tomorrow. It'll be another day that you don't get an enrollment, that you don't get a customer, that you don't make a paycheck. So step one is what? Peak interest and get really good at it. And I am going to give you every single way to become amazing at peaking interest. It's the people who peak interest the best that become top earners in our industry. Second, we're going to give you a new link soon. And it's not going to be for a few weeks. But we have a landing page coming that has no connection to anyone. It's a generic page that's going to have the three-minute video. It's going to have our doctors, all of our medical advisory board on there, their pictures, their names, and a video from one of the doctors. And it's going to have content basically selling the person you send it to. And at the end, it's going to say, would you like to become a customer? Get back with the person who invited you. You want to join our team and take Awakened out to the world? Want to be one of our amazing members? And we're going to rename members, by the way. We're coming up with something better. Wealth, wealth, uh, not wealth, um, health, you know, Zenith. I don't know yet what we're calling, but you'll be able to, they'll know instantly. No, I'd like to be on this team. I love this movement. Uh, you can't say that you help people with health. You don't have any qualifications to do that, and neither does anyone in the company. Well, some people do, and they shouldn't be using their, uh, you know, qualifications to do that. But hmm, that's a different conversation. Or no, I just want to be a customer. They're already come to you sold. You're just sending them your link. And by the way, we have a cart, a shareable cart, only for customers, not for, for reps. Wellness ambassadors, thank you, whoever said that. That was awesome. We have a shareable cart that is going to open next week so that you can put it in the cart for your person so they don't have to go, what am I doing? Where do I put the product in? When you send them the link, it's already in the cart. They just have to check out. Guys, it increases not just the revenue of the company. Uh, I think most companies have this. It increases your close rate because when you send a shareable cart to a customer, they didn't even have to think. You are, they already saw the testimonial page or video. They've already done what they needed to do. They already know they need Zenith yesterday. You send them the Cheryl Bull cart and then boom. Thank you, Steph Martin. And congratulations to Kathy and Steph on Black Diamond today. That is insane. I love those ladies. They're amazing. I work with them in another company and they were just unbelievable then. Of course you did. Everybody who's at the top of this company you worked with. And I couldn't be more honored to have them on board. I could cry. Um, when I got that call, I was like, oh, okay. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Shareable carts. Oh, I haven't seen you, Why car. are we giving you that? That feature is to allow you to do what? Be able to close more business. Why are we giving you the landing page soon to close more business? Why is the Awaken Star program coming out at the end of November? It's for anyone who wants to just sell retail online. Micro-influencers, influencers, anyone who says, I don't want to be in the binary, Lori. I don't understand binaries. I hate MLM, but I love this product and I want to make money on it. You say, good. Don't be in the company. Just be in our Awaken Star program, which is a division of the company that has nothing to do with the binary, nothing to do with MLM. You sign up. You do this much in dollar sales a month. You make this much money, guys. Yeah, but don't you think that's a bit of dishonest? Because, like, some people don't want to work with MLMs because MLMs are scammy. And you are dreaming if you think that real influencers are going to use this. <laughs> guys, we couldn't have made it easier. Then at the beginning of the year, right around March, when we're doing convention, we're hoping to roll out our practitioners packs. And they're not called that, but that's what I'm going to say they're called for now because I've called them 30 things in the last three days, bulk packs, practitioners packs, um, wholesale packs, whether it's 40 bottles for the small one and 60 bottles for the big one, doesn't matter yet. We'll have pricing. That program will be for people who want to retail it out of their clinics and out of their doctor's offices. And you guys will make volume on that. We have made it. Scammy, scammy doctors. And shitty doctors with their dodgy qualifications. Is that what you mean? I think that's what you mean. It's so easy. Doctors don't want to be involved. Good. Don't be involved. You don't have to be building an, a, a team, but you can retail it in your office because we know millions upon millions need Xena. They need to get their leptin resistance healed. We shouldn't say healed. Let me retract that statement. They need their leptin resistance to be um, uh, let's just say their leptin to be balanced. <laughs> when we say <laughs> thank you. <laughs> We need their leptin balance. And these doctors that have already come in know that, that we have that breakthrough. It's a breakthrough in obesity. And by the way, we're going to be in quite a few publications, big publications. We have a whole rollout. Of, of course, because you get to pay them. Because that's how key science is. We're on the front of a, uh, in front of a fucking magazine. Um, so I'm just scrolling through the chat now because... Who's the Karens of the world? You're the fucking Karens. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, you're the Karens. Publications we're going into. 
So when you hear about these trolls that are anti MLM, they're saying horrible things about us, put on your big girl or big boy panties. There's gonna be plenty more of that because we're going to a billion fast. And there's gonna be a lot of people who don't like us. Is they don't pay your bills. They um, it's not about anything except that MLMs are exploitative. They are proven to be 1% effective. Okay, you're in the 1%, Danielle, so of course you're going to fucking say it's big and good and blah, blah, blah. If your product was the shit, there is no reason why it has to be an MLM. None. You could take all the profits for yourself with this. You don't have to build this side of the business. You could have an affiliate program. You could do all this without the MLM, but you decided that you're going to do an MLM because you know you get built-in customers. <laughs> you know they're going to buy this 100 and even at the fucking price that the distributors buy it at, $135 American. I, I mean... What is that in Australian? 135 USD to AUD. $200. $200 Australian. Wow. For a month, $50 a week? And you you say that the you, you have to have two bottles to get your monthly fucking thing. Yeah, two hundred dollars, hey? That's pretty outrageous. Mm. And then uh, if we go up, one forty is the uh, ship and save or whatever it is, you know, auto ship, and one sixty is the normal two hundred and. Thirty-eight dollars and seventeen cents in Australian dollars. Wow, it seems like so much more in Australian dollars to me now. Like two hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. And keep in mind that the founders have mostly, like, which is most of the the company, the business at the moment. Uh, the founders have paid, you know, over a grand. That's crazy. Oh, wow. The audacity. They don't pay mine. I could care less about the little chirps. I've had my entire credibility raked over the coals. Guess what? I'm still here. Why? I can go make money anywhere. I'm not trying to be cocky. I can go make Yeah, you can because you're a fucking shifty, shifty woman who has no scruples, no morals, no ethics, uses the term faith-based businesswoman. Okay, yep, you can do that. And that's why you're still in network marketing after 12 years is because you don't have the conscience that this is, can be damaging to people because it hasn't been damaging to you. <laughs> you're the 1%. So, of course it doesn't bother you. You're sitting in a house that's getting renovations. You're sitting in a house fucking, you know, talking about this, that, and the other. And taking advantage of people. You can only get the big money if you have the little people. So uh, you will never convince me that you're not a shysty sneaky snake oil salesman who hates their body and that's just the truth i wish that you know like i think that she is a loathsome person i think she's a disgusting human but i really hope that she can accept her body as it is i have been at war with my body most of my life you know and i wasted so much fucking time like who cares my body works you know um yeah and we're the same age Danielle and i so you know like we i 
have been through similar thoughts as her. But stopping that cycle of hating my body was amazing, so liberating. Okay, and and I hope she can find that. Uh, you know, I don't think that the answer's at the bottom of a fucking Zenith bottle, but you know, she's very rich. Why hasn't she had a fucking? Maybe she has had a gastric re- bypass or whatever. So yeah, uh, yes, of course we won't row you. It's not our. It's not my target to to get her out of network marketing. The reason I do this is so that other people can see. This is what she's saying, and this is what I'm saying, and this is where this is what she means when she says this. I'm just deconstructing her words so that hopefully there's someone out there who may be able to like look at all this and not and think, mm, I need to do a little bit more research. Let me type this in and they find a video that I've done. That would be fantastic. Okay. Or that Aaron and JJ have done because they were they were the first people to to really highlight this this company. And I wouldn't know them if it weren't for um, for JJ and Aaron. Oh, I watched uh, JJ's video because I actually really enjoy consuming anti-MLM content. I like watching anti-MLM videos. That's why, <laughs> you know, like that's how I got into it. Um, about Amari Global. Oh, my God. When they said that they could improve depression by 55% or something like that. I was at work and I was just cleaning up my art room and I was like, and that's, and that's what, (laughs) I wasn't looking at the screen. I was like, you know, around the corner or something. And I went over to comment because I was just like, oh, I can't believe that. And JJ was the same, like, like, oh my God, we were both just like, I couldn't believe it. And I'm like, oh, okay. All right. MRA's on the list. And they are on the list, okay. Uh, Yes, but Danielle, I'm tracking the whole story, honey. I might be the only one at the moment, but uh, I did did send Chelsea a DM on Instagram the other day. So hopefully get some more eyes on it. I bring a lot of value where I go and I've, I've worked so hard to get where I am in life. However, I don't let the chatter stop me from building something and from being with you guys and taking this thing out to the world. Every time I think about them, I say this, thank you God for this opportunity. Thank you God that you gave us this amazing product and it's ours. Thank you that you're handling that stuff. And I have to keep my eyes above those waves, not worry about those people. And I got to go out and help all the people who invested their trust in me and awaken to go out and build a great financial future for them and their families that's thank you god fuck off you you did this you're the one god didn't do shit (laughs) um i wonder if people have said anything about it yep i've had so much hate on tiktok lately for not showing or telling the name oh um I love the cum compound. <laughs> oh god. Just found out I'm pregnant. My husband is definitely going to be our sales tool. Does that mean oh so she she can't take it. So she's gonna take it afterwards, obviously. Hmm. I cannot lose if I don't quit. Oh, gross. Sorry, I'm not reading anything. I'm following your tips and is working. Oh, great. Yeah, sure. The ninja videos changed the game for me. Oh, as if. I've been in the industry for 15 years and have never been as impressed as I am with this company and with Holy. Ew. <laughs> if only corporate America could get it. Uh, they don't want your fucking shit pill, all right? 
Ugh. Yuck, 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 yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. Blah, 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 blah. Susan, fuck off. Susan, fuck right off. Oh my god, I have a list of doctors. Fuck off, Susan. Yeah. Wellness ambassadors. Z dealers. Ew. Ew. Crystal. Crystal, no. Crystal, no. Shareable card is fantastic. Everyone's got one. Oh my god, I'm just like yelling at my computer. <laughs> what are you crying about, Sarah? You fucking. I need to be nicer to the people. They're under the spell. They're under the big spell. Oh, that is pathetic. Somebody. Their name is Epic. Renee. Epic. Because you know. Um, that's the name that I use a lot with that fucking thing. I have a potential customer that does not have a computer or smartphone. <laughs> shareable carts. Oh, my God. Everybody has a shareable cart, guys. It's not that special. If you're a founder, can you still sell in bulk? That's interesting. When have you slept in the last three years? Oh. On her team. She's slept on a team. That's how she has. They can kiss my ass. Sh Shannon Delgudis. I just, I just butchered the pronunciation of that name. I apologize. But, um, okay, Shannon, I'll kiss your ass. Unmoved. <laughs> Haterade ain't night. Um, Woo, you better not be speaking in AAVE. Oh, my God, Lynn, no, get out. My best friend was a chirp, not letting it stop me. Oh, her best friend, she just said her best friend was a chirp. Oh, that is, that's fucking heartbreaking. I don't have close friends, you know. Wow. Hmm. Oh, epic. Oh, my network doesn't treat me like that. I am fortunate. And have worked hard to eliminate all negative Nancys and norms. Oh, wow. That's kind of. Uh, no, Stephanie. Stephanie, um, they probably ordering under fake names. Um, first of all, there. Apostrophe Ari. I'm going to get petty because um, fuck this. Because you're assuming. Like Danielle assumes that everybody has negative body image, and they don't. I don't want your fucking zenith, okay? So, yeah. All right, let's finish this off, hey? The goal. Now, we got to go help a lot of people lose weight and help balance their, their leptin and their adiponectin. We also have another oh, product set coming out really soon. And we have a chief science officer we just hired. It came from some very big brands. People are very excited about him. So we're going to announce him. Name? I have to go to my next call in 60 seconds. So I'm going to say this. Step one is all that matters right now outside. Again, with a next call? Every single thing I've ever seen her do has a next call on it. What the fuck? Why? Are you a drug dealer? Why Why do you have so many calls? What the fuck? What are you, are you a government official? This, this, people just are not this busy side of your belief, your, your job tonight, go to bed. I believe in myself. I believe in what I'm doing. I'm not listening to naysayers. I'm going to be on every training and then I'm going to implement it. And I'm going to peak interest like nobody's business. I don't care who says no. I don't care who says not right, not right now. I don't care who saw negativity online because what's going to happen. And I'm going to paint this picture for you. Mark my words. We just shipped out. We're, we're doing over 6,000 shipments of bottles a day. So by Monday, because Friday is a holiday by Monday, we'll be all done. Right. We'll all cut up. That's over 104,000 bottles that go out to the world. What do you think is going to happen in five or six weeks? Maybe four. What do you think around Christmas what's happening? If only two or 3,000 people posted their results, do you think we would light on fire in a hypergrowth? So if there's 32,000 people who came in and only 2,000 of them start posting their weight loss and all their excitement, do you think we're going to be in big trouble as far as keeping up? Yup. That's a good problem to have. Because I came from a company where things would go stale in the warehouse and they'd put them on sale because they were expiring. Everyone's been in that kind of company. 
You want to be in the company that can't keep up. You got order upon order and purchase orders out because we already know the tsunami's hitting. Your job is to do what? Believe in yourself and peak interest. Then on the next training, I'm going to tell you exactly how if someone has questions or someone needs more information, exactly what to send and exactly who to use in your upline in order to get them the information because you don't need to talk to anyone alone on a phone. Don't you ever do that. If you're not, I, my first year in network marketing, I made my upline do it the whole year. At the end of the year, he goes, Danielle, enough. You're number four in the company. You're still not doing calls on your own. I'm like, I'm, I'm afraid. He goes, you're making eight grand a month. I'm like, yup. And it's because you do all my closing calls. Do you know? He kicked me out of the nest. He was a $34 million earner. When I got on the call, I was terrified to do it myself. All of a sudden, I sounded just like Jerry. I was like, I'm saying everything Jerry said, because for one year, I listened to him on every call. I took notes. You don't need a year. You need a few, maybe five, 10 calls with your upline, and you're probably going to be fine. And if you're not, we'll stay with you longer. But you do not need to worry about talking to people on your own. Don't go this alone. This, the worst thing you could do in this industry is not have a mentor. And if you have signed up with someone, who, they're green. That's so funny. Because uh, um, Veronica Bay, oh, I need to check in on her. Um, she was like, I didn't, I don't need him. I didn't need a mentor. Fuck <laughs> off. Yo, know, business is mentors. God damn. That's okay. Don't feel bad for yourself. You got people above you who are crushing it or willing to help you. You just got to let them know, hey, I'm here. Okay. So I hope this helps. I hope you see my style is I'm going to hit you hard, but I love you. And I want you to get, get rid of all the stuff that's slowing you down. It's going to be an amazing, amazing ride. Peak interest is what we're going to work on. Step two is sending the link. Step three is sending them your link so they can place an order or they may say, I need more info. And that's when you reach up and you say to one of your leaders, I need some support here. And you start a three-way text or you start a three-way Facebook message and you get your leader to do it for you. And we build it together. All right. The magic of thinking big is your homework this week. If you've never read that book, get it tonight, download it, start, go to bed. Don't watch TV. There's no PV in TV. Don't watch the news. All right. It's election night. Some of you got to do, I don't watch any of that crap. Let's go on this. Nobody's paying your bills but you, and no one's coming to rescue you. That was the best thing that was ever said to me. Danielle, no one's going to do it for you. I had to push through fear. I had to push through everything that was coming at me when I got in this industry and say to myself, if it's going to be, it's up to me, okay? We're going to support you. We're going to be here. I'll do calls for anyone. I don't care if you're brand new and you've never signed a soul. I'll do a call for you. But I need you to show up with belief, not with a, I don't know. No, you say to yourself every day until you believe it. I got this. I'm going to make it happen. I'm in the right company, in the right place at the right time. And when you've coached yourself like that, now you're ready for someone like me or a leader to come in and do a call for you. Oh, but you just said that you were going to mentor us. You're not going it alone. I love you guys. And I will see you next week. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I was just trying to think about what this skill, what this mindset and skill set. It was meant to be peaking interest. Hang on. Let me look at my thing. Oh, Tish, what happened? Where is that? I'm sure it was like peaking interest or something like that. How did you peak interest? She didn't even do it. Um, uh, it was nothing. This fucking training was nothing again. It was just her talking about herself again. I did this. I did that. She didn't really give any tips on how to peak interest. Oh my god, it's ten o'clock. I need to rinse my hair and have dinner. Oh, I'm hopeless. All right, and the dogs are probably hungry too. All right, that's it. Danielle sucks. We've been knowing that, and yeah, I think that we'll probably. I think we're gonna do a live, another live with the clown town, and maybe Karina. Man, it's going to be the Salty Bitch Club. Whoa. Love it. All right. Have a good one, everybody. And um, tell me if you can figure out what we were learning in this one because I do not know. I'm going to keep fucking chirping now. All right. Goodbye.